What is Evergrow? Is it a rewards token, a NFT platform, uh, some creators donations product? I'll be reviewing the uh, project and giving you my thoughts at the end of this video. So let's go take a look at their website. So they say, welcome to the evolution of passive income. So they're describing themselves as a passive income uh, token or project and say, Evergrow is the leading stablecoin rewards token. So a stablecoin rewards token. So they provide you rewards in a stable token. Earn Binance uh, USD, BUSD, simply by holding Evergrow in your crypto wallet. I don't know how this mascot seems a bit weird. Okay, uh, 139,000 holders, 37 million giving out rewards, 13,000 Facebook members, 57,000 Twitter followers, 19,000 Telegram members, 12,000 Discord members. So that's how they show you that their Ponzi scheme, scheme is growing. I'm joking. It's not, I'm not saying this Ponzi. Um, I mean, they're definitely not. They've got products. So the products they have, they have an NFT marketplace. So an NFT marketplace place where you can mint sell and buy nfts from a variety of categories crater social media platform what what is a crater do they mean like creator because i don't know what a crater is so um they have they're developing a patron like uh, product which is great and i hope they can uh, update the spelling to ensure people can understand the uh, purpose and the potential of such a product. I mean, I like the fact they have an NFT lending platform, so you can use your NFTs for uh, giggling along or you can use them as a collateral again, sure. Yeah, blah, blah. Everybody's been doing wallet exchange again. Everybody's doing a exchange and a meta. I don't understand why they're doing a meta, metaverse. What kind of metaverse are they going to make? Socialize with friends, visit an NFT gallery, a virtual crypto bank or play a suite of virtual reality games so basically do everything i don't really like these kind of very broad generic we'll try everything and uh, we'll see what works out let's take a look at the nft marketplace so on lunar sky you'll be able to mint buy and sell nfts including any that you obtain through liquidated uh, collateral so that's cool so it's going to be very integrated the uh, lending platform into their marketplace so that adds uh, real value to actually using it can you check on these no full screen previews unfortunately i don't really like the ui ux it seems a bit outdated but who knows maybe it'll look better when it comes out okay so here's something i'm interested about is the uh crater is that the name of their product what a strange name crater it's very hard to pronounce so um crater the evergrow subscription platform basically it's like patreon which is good if they can actually get big uh youtube creators or twitch creators to use the platform i, I like this kind of uh, product a lot i'd like to see the final version of the product having the wallet a wallet is so easy they can just release it there's nothing special about doing a wallet i don't really see a point of killing everybody to use your own wallet so it just fragments everything just about everybody uses trust wallet Met metamask maybe five six other wallets but tokens shouldn't be news developing sorry developing their own wallets because there's no real purpose for there's no value added on for users to use them again exchange i like the ui ux here but it's kind of so strange with that silver background and purple on the popular markets tab i don't understand this kind of color color palette but okay like we have a lot uh, sorry we have a dex but obviously i never switched it on because we don't have enough liquidity so i don't understand really like here you even in the screenshot unless you have a lot of liquidity or trading volume going for your platform your exchange will not become successful it's just going to create problems for you and so now we have their meta so a virtual world that brings together the entire evergrow ecosystem okay so the entire evergrow ecosystem uh browse lunar sky nfts in a fully immersive 3d gallery meet friends and uh, influences on crater crater it's terrible in there. uh play vr games or shop in virtual stores with your crypto wallet okay it's good they're working with uh, two studios so hopefully uh, they're gonna release the product soon so connect with community like here's some uh, screenshots on their twitter the metaverse they're making I and mean, i don't see any evergrow I, it's 
that they're branding it the abstract VR. So I wonder why it's not called Evergrow Meta. <laughs> but never mind, it looks good. At least it's something. But that's it for the homepage. I think there's more on the about section. So let's go to what is Evergrow. Okay, what is Evergrow? Re repetition. Up about here, they actually, they took a bit different. Like launch in September of 2021, just before the end of the bull market. Or just before the bear market started. <laughs> um, our project is overseen by Sam Kelly, chairman of the board, and our experienced team of developers, designers, and marketing specialists. Our primary goal is to make Evergrow a top 20 crypto project while, while revolutionizing the passive income Web 3.0 movement. So it's like they want to be a metaverse and a passive income tool. But they want to be a way you can make passive income. It's odd. Like, I'm only going to make passive income from creator social social media platform if I'm a influencer and I'm only gonna make passive income from the meta products if I uh, have a VR headset and want to play the games and as same with the NFTs I have to buy and sell NFTs or I provide collateral against the lending platform or I gr agree to collateralize sorry the uh, the assets on the lending platform so it doesn't really make Makes sense how they can become like some passive income ecosystem very broad very generic no real uh, mission they have a mission but i don't think they're going to achieve it the way they're saying so what's their story so sam never made it evergrow was the brainchild of uh, praveen rai a marketing specialist and ajit singh a blockchain developer oh so it was made by two guys on september 25th 2021 pre-sale selling out inside seven minutes so they definitely had private investors and achieving two million dollars valuation within two hours i wonder how much actual liquidity they raised it's very easy to get any market cap so the first pro the first major project offering stablecoin rewards, Evergrow immediately caught the attention of the crypto world, including seasoned investor and entrepreneur Sam Kelly. Sam, a well-known figure in the world of European finance, had been researching crypto projects for over two years, waiting for the right opportunity to come along. So Sam was hired to, to come on board, or he offered to come on board. So here is a uh, roadmap, which I would have been nice on the homepage. So launch 10k holders in the in that in the coin listing. Um, okay, 100k holders. I don't believe these uh, holders anymore. A uh, bitmark listing. Nice. Cost seventy thousand dollars. That would have cost them seventy k back then. Now they have a discount. Uh, more exchanges. So they've done a thirty order. It's cool. They're working on their VR product. And see, they have a new website. Looks nice. Then they're working on a new product. So definitely their metaverse products are coming. And that's realistic to pull it at the end. I guess these are the priority. Like, yeah, I mean, it should be easy for them to make an NFT marketplace because everybody's very familiar with this. Well, there's been like thousands of NFT marketplaces developed in the past two years. Uh, Crater, that's quite interesting as well. Like they pull it on their second highest point of priority. Well, it's easy. An exchange comes before the metaverse. Seems very logical. Let's go take a look at Sam Kelly. I want to see his LinkedIn. Okay, so Sam is from the UK. He's worked for Chorus Finance. He's still working for them. So he's non and a non-executive chairman of the board. So interesting. I wonder if Evergrow actually have a company in you. That would be interesting. Maybe I'll look into that later. I mean, what does Chorus Finance do? I don't know. What do they do? Chorus Financial is financial planning and investment management firm with with offices across Spain to so lay like some personal finance company. So he knows how to tell people what to do with their money. I don't know what this guy has to offer to this project. It's not nice. So Praveen, right? He was one of the original founders living in Singapore. So he doesn't live in the UK. So Evergrow definitely doesn't have a company in the UK. This guy has a background in crypto he knows what he's doing and he's working full-time on evergrow cool he has a description here we even have mutual connection so it's a legit profile it's even paid for premium so it's linked to credit card <laughs> it's a good sign yeah let's take a look at ajit so ajit is 
in India. Right, okay, so this is a global team and he's a developer. He's been working since 2018, but he graduated in 2020. Oh, he's fresh. It makes sense they hired uh, Sand to come on board. Okay, they seem to have a really big team, but I don't see any like, let's take, take a look at operations manager. Does he have any like real skills which can benefit this? So he worked for Oracle as a business analyst and he's still working for Oracle and he's in Romania. What does he do in Oracle? I support cloud renewals from an end-to-end -end process perspective and provide effective and efficient support to drive cloud growth globally. But previously he worked as a billing specialist. So he's going from business analyst to head of operation. You know, he's got a lot to learn. I think it's going to be a really mixed team here. Some have stuff to offer and some are going to have to learn it the hard way. Let's take a look at our technical specs. What is this? Perhaps their white paper. Ah, oh, well, their white papers here. Partners. Already seen their partners. Let's take a look at their order on Celtic. Cool. So they have a good score on Celtic. They had only three major problems. Five minor and informational is uh, relevant. So they really actually pass quite well. And they are fully integrated into Celtic. They're taking a look at their tokenomic. But yeah, they have really high taxes. Really high. Because 8% is reward price. Their tokenomics is quite nice. I like the way it's presented. It's very easy to read. Quite graphic but it's really high I and mean, the, the tax is just so high so when will the utilities launch first utility that will launch is lunar sky cool they have a progress report and oh, that was the progress report i had no idea Rate is almost done. That's quite good. I've seen on their Twitter profile, actually, we'll look into that later, but yeah, on their Twitter profile, they actually do communicate quite well. Let's go take a look at the white paper. How many pages? Oh, eight pages. <laughs> it's not very long. I know it's not fun writing the white paper, but it was very rewarding once I finished mine. They really describe themselves as a rewards token, but they do discuss about the products they intend to launch, which is good, but they haven't said much about them, which kind of shows I think that probably relates to their experience in general. Like I'm not attacking them. But they don't seem to be, they don't seem to have the re relevant experience or drive or passion to solving the problems or providing solutions to problems people are facing. It's economic scan, I'm just going to skip this. It's a better description here of the product, but they don't, I mean, a roadmap should have some kind of timeline, but they don't have any timeline and this stuff about passive income it doesn't really it's like we're rewards token building an ecosystem of products which are going to help you make passive income that's not how the way things work so let's go take a look at their twitter registered in may of 2021 so it seems okay like they launched in september right again describing themselves as a the world's leading stable coin rewards token they're not really communicating to to the customers who are going to use their product I, but they do seem to be working on stuff and i like this thing on la token lunar sky has a separate Twitter account, good marketing. Yeah, and this one, I thought it was quite interesting. So we converted 325 BNB to BSUS, BUSD to hedge against any potential short-term falls in BNB. So it should fund them for about eight to 10 million. Oh, wow the need to touch your remaining 1600 bnb when i read this first i was like i felt nervous about their financial situation and how much money they need to operate but like it shows really good transparency on that on their behalf and i i really like it i definitely can understand their motivation or you know i think i've been in a similar position myself about communicating the financial status of my project and sometimes just say just saying it as it is is good and there's a lot of talk about price action on their Twitter account, but I like the way they are talking a lot about Lunar Sky. Like it shows the the product they're working on. And obviously at the top, they jumped on the bandwagon of bashing uh, Facebook's metaverse. And their, their metaverse does look much better. <laughs> I think anybody's metaverse looks better than Facebook. Um, so yeah, like I, they, they, I like the way they communicate about the products they're working on. It's not all just about the token or listings or price action. They're definitely working on products. I want to believe it's coming. And it seems obvious that their uh, NFT marketplace is coming uh, first or coming before the rest. So Abstract VR, they're, they're only working with uh, Evergrow. So even if they are branding inside the, the Metaverse, it's all for Evergrow. It's nice. It's definitely better than Meta, Meta's metaverse <laughs> yeah 
I mean, okay, their Twitter, Twitter looks good. They communicate a lot, a lot about the products they're working on. It's not just about price action or listings. It's a good variation of really everything and transparency about the health of the project. Looking at the BS check report, there is a warning for the taxes, but we know most of this is going to the reward and they've clearly communicated this everywhere. So we don't have to be concerned about that. And ownership not renounced is, uh, I, 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 I don't mind it too much. Like if the project comes across as a scam and the ownership is not renounced, then you should be worried. But if the product, ha sorry, if the project actually has a uh, utility being developed, and the ownership hasn't been renounced then I would say it's okay and we have some wallets with a uh, high supply I don't know why but 5% 3% every team member so it's not much else for me to discuss with uh, Evergrowth they haven't got any utility or products launched yet uh, but it seems like it's coming just around the corner in terms of my general thoughts of the project they're probably a very passionate team but they probably need more project managers or experienced operation managers to come in to support them I really like like this product crater i hate the name but i think crater has uh, has huge potential uh, if they can make it successful i mean definitely other projects have tried to um, to do a crypto patron and uh, most of them have failed so the one who will be successful or manage to win over the market share will uh, will do very well uh, in terms of would i invest in this project at its current stage i think it's too early for me to invest in this project uh, I, because of the team like i don't understand like i don't know what their experience is i don't see how their background is contributing towards this project uh, other than i'm sure what is their passion and ambition to to make a big crypto project uh, they've already achieved a lot but developing a product selling it getting users it's really complicated really hard and they need more experienced people to come on board to support them to ensure it's going to become successful